In some schools, students will enter campus from multiple locations to provide appropriate distancing. The school staff will make sure all students are wearing face coverings appropriately. Check their temperature and verify they passed their student health screener. They will then be directed to obtain hand sanitizer before going to their designated area. If the students arrive by bus, they will unload in the bus drop-off area and students will be checked for facial coverings and be provided hand sanitizer and then directed by staff to go to their class designated area. They will then look for clearly marked directional walkways that they will follow until they get to other special markings that will ensure that students are spaced apart and are facing forward. All markings may differ depending on the school they attend. Please look through your return to school booklet for more information. Signage with reminders to students to physically distance, wash their hands, and wear their facial coverings will be visible around the campus. There will be approximately six feet of distancing between the teacher's desk and the students who will be seated in rows. Students will sit in assigned seats and they will be facing forward to enhance distance. There will be safe spacing in between each student. Students will be provided their own Chromebook and school supplies to minimize sharing. Except for bathroom breaks and quick outdoor brain breaks, students will remain in the same classroom and will not travel to other rooms. Each school site will have a designated isolation room for students. If a student becomes ill while in school, they will be sent to the isolation room where their temperature will be checked and symptoms monitored. Parents will be notified to pick up their child and self-isolate for 10 days or receive a negative COVID-19 test. They will also have to display no symptoms prior to returning to in-person instruction. After students leave campus, Madeira Unified employees will wipe down the common hard surface areas, including door handles, light switches, sink handles, tables, and bathroom surfaces if located in the classroom with FDA approved sanitizing solutions. Students are provided more hand sanitizer or reminded to wash their hands as they leave using multiple campus exits to avoid gatherings. Their parents will be asked to wear a facial covering as they wait for their child and distance themselves from other adults. Thank you for all of your patience and understanding. Our district believes that together we can do this. The health and safety of our students, our staff, and our community are our top priority.